नमस्कार हेलो फ्रेंड्स एजाइल मैथोलॉजी इज वन ऑफ द मैथोलॉजी यूज इन द सी एस वी आवर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम वैलिडेशन कैन बी परफॉर्म विद इन द कंप्लायस स्टेट विद दिस मैथोलॉजी सो टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एजाइल इन सी एस वी सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हेमा शर्मा एंड टूडे आई एम कम विद दिस वीडियो ऑफ वट इज एजाइल इन द सी एस वी सो फ्रेंड्स वेन एजाइल इन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम वैलिडेशन एंड दिस मैथोलॉजी अप्लाइड इन द कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम वैलिडेशन और यू कैन से द सी एस सी सिस्टम दिस प्रोसेस दिस मैथोलॉजी कैन स्ट्रीम लाइन द वैलिडेशन प्रोसेस सो दैट वी कैन एनहांस द एफिशंसी और अवर वर्क ऑफ द सी एस वी और सी एस सी दिस एजाइल सी एस सी इज इटरेटिव एंड इंक्रीमेंटेड अप्रोच so that we can collaborate and flexible for deliver the best validation and a validation life cycle can be fulfilled in a satisfactory level so what is the key characteristic and principle of the csp with ai so first of all iterative development iterative development means uh, the small small development some small small work that can help what we achieve in the future so we can divide our validation process in the multiple step or you can say in multiple iteration so that we can achieve our actual target okay so proper planning and then execution then we review these all specific validation activity and with the frequently feedback and if required adjustment we have flexible for that we can achieve our target product our target that csv target of that csv so this is known as iterative development so this is the key point second key point is cross functional team so as we have the cross function cft team our validation team our quality assurance team development team we, are, we have the smes they all sit together study on the validation life cycle approach of particular application implementation validation and all knowledge sharing facilitate to each other with the knowledge sharing and understanding the key points of the validation this can work fantastic so that agile methodology give one second key point of cross functional team third key point is user involvement as we discuss we have the cst we have cross functional team so the involvement of user is necessary key point because user know what they need user expectation as per the regulatory requirement is the main achievement main goal of any csv or csc process so user stakeholder are enlisted throughout the process to provide input validate requirement and participate in testing activity then continuous communication this key point is very important so that a continuous communication about the progress of updation collaboration tool and facilitate effective communication and coordination so that we can achieve first step then second step and third step and step by step we can achieve our validation process next key point is flexibility and adaptability as i as csv knowledge that required can change during the validation process means flexibility and increase for adaptation to inborn needs change can be incorporate so that continuous improvement can be achieve so every software application should have the provision to achieve next step to involve next step 
to involve the changes also and with the small small efforts we can validate that part documentation is very important as we all know that every software work everything that we are doing with that every controls every mitigation plan should be documentation in so that we get compliance that traceability and knowledge transfer can be achieved risk based approach the most important point that is risk is approach is not only csv or csa any improvement or any introduction of the system is very important part so prioritize your work mitigate your plan check where is the risk and where can be risk and where will be the risk in throughout the validation cycle so that this approach give you the best solution today only for the future problem so friends it is important note that agile csv is one of the method that helps you in a small small segment what is the regulatory requirement what is the organizational need by this method you can deliver the small project in the time then take the next project then the next project and you can achieve the all validation life cycle with this method only remember that this is depend only the requirement of the industry and what regulation you are working in what regulation you are working remember that you can do as per the reg organization requirement as per your industry requirement but consult all the internal guidelines industrial best practice and regulatory required requirements when applying the agile to the computer system validation so this is the very small brief introduction of this agile methodology from my side i hope this small video can help you about understanding the agile csv methodology thank you so much i will come again with another pharmaceuticals compliance system till then bye bye take care